Hey guys, Kevin Collects here, and it's time for another awesome, awesome doll review. And it is time for series three of the Rainbow High Dolls. And to start it off with my little grand unboxings, I have Miss Georgia Bloom. So yeah, I managed to get these actually, oh my god, like definitely at least like close to probably like a week ago. And um, yeah, I've kind of had them sitting in my room. So basically, I managed to pick up Georgia Bloom and Daphne Min um, Minton, uh, yeah, like probably like five, six days ago. And then I also picked up Emmy. They had like all of them except Cheryl. And I didn't want to go splurging. So I just, just because I bought like all these dolls and everything, the like a little surprise movie magic. So, you know, I tried to take it down a little notch and everything, just get a few at a time. So I managed to just, well, I ended up picking up those two to begin with. I wanted to get Cheryl as well. So I wanted to really get Cheryl, Georgia, and Daphne since they were my faves. And I was going to get the other three later. But, you know, I kind of ended up like getting Emmy because I think she just looks very, very cute. And then, yeah, Cheryl, I got through Best Buy's little things. So I'm picking that up Wednesday. Um, the thing is, my Walmart has Cheryl. They're just not putting her out. And, like, every time I go over, um, it's just, like, hard to kind of get, like, assistance. To kind of, like, have someone check in the back. I'm very, like, I'm very shy, like, asking when someone's really doing something in another department or something. And the toy department just really hasn't had anyone when I went. They've been stocked with new stuff, but it's just I always go, like, when there's no one there. So it's like, oh. But you know what? Whatever, I'll just go to Best Buy about a half hour away and pick her up instead of going to the Walmart that is legitimately like eight minutes from my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going an extra mile, based really, like actually. But whatever, you know, maybe I'll have some other ones I can choose from and everything as well when I'm at the Best Buy one. And who knows, maybe the Best Buy one has like the non-lip liner version. Which basically, I mean, like, I don't know, I like the lip liner on Cheryl, but I also like the one without. So it's kind of like, eh, that's both worlds, maybe. We'll to get two. <laughs> so yeah. But of course, this one is gonna be about Georgia because she is my numero uno. I am obsessed with this doll and I'm so excited to open her. She is absolutely beautiful. So here is a look at the box, all right, with Miss Georgia inside. She has her second outfit here, which is honestly stunning. And then the shoes, all right, all the new season. Uh, series three girls you got Cheryl, Georgia, Daria, Emmy, Gabriella, and Daphne. All right, on the back, you have all the girls as well, which all look so awesome. And the signature little style that they usually do, and then the same little saying on the bottom. Pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like the same stuff as usual. All right, but the new thing we have with these new dolls now, which is something very exciting because I do like the uniqueness of it, it's kind of like matching the uh like astrological sign like stuff like that kind of level is they have what their focus is and i guess georgia here is performance focus which if you saw the most recent episode of rainbow high you would know that she's just the cutest freaking thing she's a little southern belle and she is my favorite like i think that is what really sealed the deal for me was the fact that they just made her the cutest darn thing sugar and I, I like, I just love her. She's like one of those like really just cute little Southern bells, and I'm just, just obsessed with it. All right. So, yeah. And then another reason why she's actually my number one, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, which I don't know if we even said that, but yeah, she's number one. The reason being because one, the doll is beautiful, and both her outfits are perfect. Like she is like the main doll for me because she just comes with the most amazing accessories. Um, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give you guys my like straight up like rating so far it might change when i open all dolls but i'm starting with number one being georgia two daphne three is going to be cheryl four is going to be emmy five daria and six being gabriella not saying i don't like any of them that is the order in which i do love them i love them all they're all amazing and everything but that is the order in which i kind of like picked them to be in everything um yeah great enough of me talking let me get her all unboxed all right guys so i have miss georgia bloom out of packaging and she is literally the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life oh my god okay first of all look at this hair look at the little curls the dangling the shimmy shimmy to it beautiful i mean yeah it's a little parted weird here like it's kind of showing a little like gapping and everything a little bald kind of like spots but i mean you know if you play around with that and everything kind of 
get through it and everything. But love this hair, first of all, which is something that I definitely haven't been doing a lot with the dolls, which I'm happy that it's starting to now, is give dolls a little more uniqueness in terms of their hairstyling and stuff to kind of like add to their character. And I think this is just perfect. But with the reveal, She is so pretty. Oh my god. The skin tone, the eye color, the makeup colors they chose, like, oh my god. She's literally gorgeous. A de like a debutante. A complete debutante. So, gang, go look at her face. You can see she has a really nice kind of like light tannish skin tone. All right, with some beautiful pink lips. She has brown. Yeah, she has those kind of like brownish pink eyes that I think Kia has. Um, which is really pretty and there's also kind of like a pinkish peachy kind of like makeup going around the eyes and everything like an eyeshadow um, and there's also like a little bit of like a nice pinkish kind of liner yeah it's like a very faint type of like pinkish brown liner that's going around that has a nice little highlighter shimmer to it um, her lips themselves are like absolutely gorgeous they have a nice little like a deep kind of brown cocoa kind of like cocoa red color um that is just stunning all right her hair has a bunch of clips in it which is really cute and everything um she had another clip in it was there always only two on one side i think so yeah um i like how they're playing with the silver and gold in this like they're kind of playing with both in the same outfit i think it's fun i think it's like different you know we get the same thing i think with daria too which i've noticed so that's gonna be something really cool because i know they always say pick silver or gold but you know what sometimes it's fun to mix like i'm actually doing that right now i actually have like a gold bracelet with silver as well but yeah um but yeah all right and then let's see i'm gonna move her hair out of the way just so we can kind of get into her clothes now even though the hair is just like absolutely gorgeous but all right so she has this really 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 cute like pink and like peach colored uh like sweater and has this cute little kind of like scalloping looks almost it's like mermaid scales um going throughout which is so so pretty and it's a very nice quality too very soft very awesome all right and has little kind of gold buttons on there and the gold buttons do say rh on them all right and they are sewn on so that is very cute i always love a nice little like sweater all right and then underneath the sweater is actually um it's almost like a bandeau but it has like little spaghetti straps and it has a little peach on it and it's a little like knit material i love that little simple embroidery the peach embroidery was a big big thing it's a big trend i love it it's cute always you know referencing a boute but still this is a peach yes <laughs> it's a peach <laughs> um but that's so so cute i love that um going down to the jeans now i'm so in love with these um, this like light type of like peachy tangerine, well not tangerine, but peachy kind of like orangey pink color for the denim, all right? And she has like all these RHs on it. Um, I'm so happy to see pants too. You always get so many characters with skirts and stuff. Pants are where I'm actually like kind of really excited to like see more of just because of the fact that it's like one, we don't have a lot. And two, there are so many cute pant styles out there. We do not need just skirts, you know? So that's really awesome. They went with that. So the next part are her shoes and socks. Girl, these shoes are everything. These are probably my favorite shoes of the bunch. Like, yes, I like the other ones she has on, but these are like everything. Like the platform, these give me very like fila type of vibes. And like you see, there's like pink and like peach and like like an orangey, another orangey kind of pink. You have like a pink gummy sole. Um you know, you have RH on the back here. There's just so much detail. It says rainbow on it. There's even a little like uh, charm right there, RH. Oh my God, like they're so detailed and they're so shiny, like very shiny. They have like a pearlescent type of like tone to them too, which is really cool. Um, but I'm in love with that. Love this outfit so much. Just so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with her. She's so, she was a sweetheart, like. I feel like I'm gonna love her character so much. Like, oh my god, especially being like a drama focus. Just, oh, that's like everything. That is so everything. Oh my god, this new like neck articulation they've been using on the dolls is like obviously amazing. 
Alrighty. Okay. So, as you can see, actually, the socks and everything are not too high. They don't go, like, all the way up into the jeans. So when you do, like, bend the knee, the jeans lift up enough to show you the top of the sock. Um, I love that length. It's really cute. Alright. That's enough of the first outfit. Let's get her in her second one. Alright, guys. So, I have Georgia almost completely in her second outfit. But I just want to show you guys something first. So... Just give you guys a little like sneak peek. Here she is so far in the second look. And as you can see, stunning. Literally stunning. Like this is definitely the best series so far, I can already tell. Um, but if you look, so she comes with a this outfit comes with actually two pieces for the top and everything. So this is the under piece. So this is like a little boussier that's like peach kind of color and everything, and it has pearls like little pearl detailing all throughout the top how pretty is that look look at that gorgeous absolutely stunning and that's just the under piece so that is so pretty all right um the only thing is there's no real support and everything so nothing holds it up so i mean like you play with her a little bit it's gonna start moving around a little but yeah just to show you guys how freaking awesome that is and how detailed this outfit is even on the under pieces gorgeous absolutely chef's kiss but now to actually just put the other part on how do you use the dust all right so i did manage to get it somewhat on but yeah so this is her second outfit this is adorable uh, so i've heard from people this is actually based on a dior outfit all right so she's wearing dior just letting you guys know And here's her little Dior purse to match it. Oh my god, now they're doing the handbags and that is just everything. Cause this is like an actual fabric handbag. Like seriously guys, this is like this doll series, this doll line has definitely like skyrocketed. Um, in terms of quality and just details and everything. But I mean this series has really just blown it. Like they are really breaking boundaries with this doll series, um, this doll line, and it is stunning. Like absolutely stunning. Like this is Dior, y'all. You have the little like pearl detailing on the bottom with the little lace, all right? You have little flowers detailed on there that match the little bag. You have little like, um, I don't know. You have little like buckles and stuff like that. You have little pieces there, little studs. Just everything, all right? And then going down to her shoes, she's doing these awesome little kind of like translucent platforms with the same kind of like printing that's on the top there, kind of in reverse, all right? And they're just super freaking cute, especially with the socks. It just looks adorable. Like she just looks like A1 stunning. So I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited where they go from here on out. Like a legit, they could, they could I mean, oh my God, I don't wanna jinx it, especially with like what's going on recently. But, like, they could legit stop making these dolls, and I would be fine just being left off with these ones, this series, because they're just amazing so far. Um, but okay. So, one thing I just want to do real quick is actually take these shoes off, because I want to see what it looks like with the other shoes. Ooh. Ooh, girl. Oh, God, it's so stunning. Um, only because... I do love the sneakers a little bit more that were in her on her first outfit, and I feel like they could potentially work with this. Yeah, see, I think I might actually leave it with these shoes instead. All right, so here she is with the other sneakers from the first outfit on, and that's just like. That's just cute. Oh my god, this looks so cute with this. Very awesome. I am very pleased with this line, guys. Oh my god, this doll in general is just perfect. I just, I definitely recommend Georgia. I know she's like a fan favorite. Well, guess what? There's a reason. Um, you know, it, just from the clothing to the doll itself to the curls to the, oh my god, just everything, the details just the bag like i am just oh my god i'm blown away oh my god she's so pretty like i don't even i feel like i'm being judged just by looking at her like she's just 
It's just shining in the light. It just looks amazing. <laughs> but alright guys, that is really going to be it for this doll. I am so happy. I definitely recommend getting her. I know she's starting to show up in Walmart stores, Best Buy. People are starting to like pick her up from and everything. Um, Even... What is it? Let me see. I think even Walmart's delivering it home now too with some of these dolls. So like, look out. The only one who's really not on board yet is Target, which is surprising. Um, we didn't even get like a street date or anything from them yet. So that's like really interesting. Um, you know, I'm, ass I'm assuming that maybe they're gonna be doing it so that basically Walmart's gonna be getting all these dolls first and then we're gonna lead us right into the music rockstar line and everything, which is gonna be a Target exclusive. So that's probably what they're really holding off on. Um, we'll probably get this series three around that time at Target as well. It's probably gonna be like some just like grand release, like some over grand release if I'm gonna be honest, because those all are fifty dollars a pop. So you know, a lot of stuff coming out. Rainbow Hot is definitely not a cheap um hobby, if I'm gonna be honest. Well doll collecting is not a cheap hobby, but I mean definitely the Rainbow High ones are really uh wall uh wallet denter. <laughs> But, um, but okay, but that's gonna be it for the rest of you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe, um, comment. I love your comments. Uh, even check my channel on Instagram. I put up some photos of her, um, nerdyboy95. And um, yeah, all right, like I said, I have Daphne and Emmy behind me. I'm gonna be getting Cheryl, probably getting the other guys. So there'll be a nice amount of reviews coming up. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time on Cap Collects. Peace.